Moshi Moshi Miami Gamers and welcome back to Honkai Style Well. Wolves look killing and the hunters draw the bow. High above within the sky below, the Shanfu Lafu wind dance is about to commence a sneaky competition. Today we're gonna continue doing the Trail Blaze Katurian quest. We're gonna try to play as Faisal, this Foxian woman that people are horny for for some reason. You since I need to move with increased speed to pull an enemy. Oh wait what? So I could Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> and then attack! All oh shit, I just murdered them all. What the hell? I just murdered them all! No breathing space? Watch your all face out. I venture forth to hunt. Oh, what? It's always sorry. Forever triumphant! Oh, what the hell? What is this? Single target? I mean, why single target? Yeah. What the? This sign is just like Metal Gear! That's what reminds me of. Oh, Lord, I love that. What's your ears feeling? Oh my god, stop bouncing around with your axe. Back down. Never hesitate. Not I thought she would say back down, never what? For a second. I was aiming with the ear build if I use it. Oh, she was an axe. That's insane. Wow. I'll like team. Um, I had to. I gotta head to you. Do we escape? Or is he just standing there? Can you shut up, NCPC? At the sky opens a bank on the sky skiff haven streets. <sighs> Seriously? When is this war dance going to start? The sky splitter has been hovering there for ages. When can we board and see what's inside? Is this how long life species live? If we pay to proceed so slowly. The effectiveness of anticipation in my emotional center is at an all-time high. Oh, I need to drink some coolant. Relax. The Realm Keeping Commission will send boarding notices to all ticket holders. The Gazette said the Sky Splitter will fire a salute before the ceremony starts. I saw the schedule for the first day of the tournament. Can you believe the Ringmaster accepted four challenges? And he's just a kid. So, who are you betting on, Bardo? I'm betting on neither. I lost all my credits betting on Roboball games in Tykeon. This time, I've decided not to rely on probability games to accomplish my target of getting rich. Wealthy or sounds, dance. Wealthy <sighs> sounds way better than that. Oh, we came out! Here you are. How did we get out? I heard you and Mr. Don Hung went to meet the judges. And then a riot broke Oh yeah, well, I forgot! We escaped either way, it doesn't matter. I was so worried about you. Thank goodness you both made it out safe. Hmm, discuss what happened. There was a revolt in the Shackling prison. Fortunately, we were protected by the guards until the Cloud Knights arrived to rescue us. Hmm. What happened on your end? I was planning to take Miss March and Yun Lee to Stargazer Navalia to see the Sky Splitter up close, but we stumbled upon a group of suspicious Foxians carrying official identities. They were acting strange, so out of curiosity, we decided to follow them. It turns out they were actually Boris and disguised as Foxians. It seems they yeah, infiltrated right. Stargazer Navalia in order to prepare for Hule's escape. And we foiled their plans by pure chance. I wonder who provided them with those disguises. And how many more Borison have taken advantage of the war dance to infiltrate the ship? Hmm. Those two is over there are talking about you. Yeah, I heard them too. But I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint them. I've already reported to General Jing Yuan that I'll give up my role as the Ringmaster. Hmm. But have you been paying for it for so long? The security of the La Fu is more important to me than anything else. I need to fulfill my duties as a Cloud Knight Lieutenant before taking on the honor of being a Ringmaster. Those tourists just want to see some good sword fights. Anyone can participate in this kind of tournament. It doesn't have to be me. The real challenge lies beyond the Ring on the Sky Splitter. If we don't capture the fugitive soon, Hule will wreak havoc. Obviously, there's someone behind the scenes orchestrating this prison break, intending to spread chaos. If we fail to thwart their evil plan, what honor will be left for us to uphold? Well said. This, you may be tiny in stature, but your ambition matches that of the Yao Qing's warriors. Hey, th this has nothing to do with my height. Hmm. Uh... What brings you here, General? 
Yes. I suggested to Yan Qing that we find a place to have a decent meal. A hunter must be well fed before the hunt. You still have a good appetite. Even in the face of disaster. You truly are the Merlin's Claw. Please finish the food quickly so we can get to work, General Feishao. Well, that's not up to me. Dig in. I called you here so you could enjoy the food. Me? Uh, this isn't the time for a leisurely meal, and this is way too much for me. Dopalinks! I would love to eat that. <laughs> oh. You'd give me time to enjoy a meal, but not yourself? Ever since you encountered those Boris and spies, you've been so busy that you've hardly eaten anything. You can't defeat Hule on an empty stomach. Take your time. Enjoy the meal and calm yourself. Uh, Hule's whereabouts are still unknown, and they've even taken Mr. Zhao Cho hostage. The longer we wait, the more complicated the situation becomes. Zhao Cho always said I'm the most impatient person among the Cloud Knights, and I can't argue with that. So, there's no reason for you to be more anxious than me. I've fought against Boris and Abominations for years, and I know their ferocity and cunning well. The Borsen were clearly well prepared for this prison break, and now they are staying in the shadows. They have no reason to rush out into the open. When facing cunning and ferocious prey, the hunter must be more patient, biding their time to seize the golden chance for a decisive blow. Once Hule loses his patience and reveals himself, that's when we'll strike. <sighs> but when will that time come? Like I said, it's only one meal away. You think you better eat food, dude? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think better now. After this guy's business break in the seat of Defying Foresight. Oh boy. General Hua Yan, the Skyfaring Commission has finished its preparations. Do you have any other instructions? Representing the consensus between the Merlin's Claw and the Divine Foresight, I'll step in as the temporary commanding officer of the seat of Divine Foresight and oversee the Six Commission's affairs on the Law Fu. What is the situation at the Shackling Prison? Hule made a quick escape and even sealed the gates of the prison. As of now, the Cloud Knights have re-established contact with the staff inside. The good news is the two nameless who were trapped in the Shackling Prison are safe and sound. That's good. <sighs> um, I know I shouldn't use the word great given the current situation, but I'm relieved that he and Don Hung are safe. <sighs> We've lost contact with one of the messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. The Borisin have likely taken him hostage. Don't worry, Yuko. Fei Shao is leading the wolf hunt operation, and you know how capable she is. I have no doubt about General Fei Shao's capabilities, General Huai Yan. I'm more concerned about the Wardens. According to the plan, the ceremony will begin in six hours. The Sky Splitter will be activated, and all visitors will board the ship to watch the contest. But now, with Hule's whereabouts unknown, everything is filled with uncertainty. Should the Wardens fleet be here as scheduled? March is right, Grandpa. I heard the escaped prisoner from the Shackling Prison is beyond formidable. In case anything goes wrong... So, Yun Li, what do you think we should do? Well... Hmm. I believe we should declare martial law and allocate manpower to search for the escaped prisoners. And as for the war dance, it's better to announce an indefinite delay for now. <sighs> hmm. Your plan sounds solid, but unfortunately solid plans rarely get a chance to be implemented. I believe there are at least two parties who won't accept your approach. Hmm. Which two parties? The first are the many travelers who have come all the way here for the war dance. If we declare martial law now, it's like declaring that the Law Fu isn't safe. How do you think the outsiders would react? They'd be terrified, and chaos might ensue. The second party is the staff of the Xianzhou Law Fu's Six Commissions. They've invested a lot of resources and manpower into organizing the war dance. Suddenly suspending it indefinitely would create numerous challenges for them. But of course, not everyone disagrees with your idea. Uh, really? 
The mastermind behind this incident would fully support your opinion, presumably. Hule's escape and your discovery of Boris and spies at Stargazer Navalia. Hmm. Even a child could guess that these events were orchestrated. The fugitive is just one piece in the game. The one controlling the pieces wants to spread chaos and suspicion among the people on the Law Fu. If we declare martial law and postpone the war dance, will fall into their trap and instill fear in people even before Hule actually does anything. So what do we do? We'll search for the prisoners while maintaining order on the Law Fu, acting as if nothing has happened. As if nothing has happened? Yen Ching said he'd assist the generals, and now he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> With the host ringmaster gone, how are we supposed to act like nothing has happened? That's why I called the two of you here. Hmm. Um, are you such as a Yun Li takes Yachi's place as ringmaster? Master Yun Li, is General Huayan asking you to be the ringmaster instead of Yen Qing? No, that's not the case. General Huayan, are you asking me to take Yen Qing's place? As the ringmaster? Most likely. You caught on quickly, Miss March. That's exactly what I mean. But Miss March is a guest invited by General Jing Yuan, Grandpa. How can an outsider represent the Lawfu in the ring? It will make the Sienjo Lawfu a laughingstock. Dear child, the nameless of the Astral Express are renowned throughout the cosmos. It's an honor to have them participate in the ceremony. Plus, Miss March is a disciple of the little Cloud Knight Lieutenant. How can she be regarded as an outsider? We can't afford to have any problems during the war dance. I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with the security of the Sky Splitter. Yu Kong, please explain to them the rest of the arrangements. All right. So, what are you tell me next? Do we do out before the war is called in the scaling, scaling prison? Am I being? I am sorry for our improper management, and I truly appreciate your assistance, General. There is no need to apologize. We Cloud Knights fight on the battlefield while you judges punish the criminals. We are two sides of the same Sienjo Law Fu, and it is my honor to serve the Ten Lords Commission. I've grasped the situation of the prison break. Now tell me more about the current state of the Shackling prison. Borison infiltrated the prison in disguise and released the prisoners, spreading chaos. Among the judges on duty in the four divisions, Judge Shui Yi from the detention division was killed and is temporarily unavailable. So, I'm taking over her duties and commanding Arumaton spectral envoys and spiritfarers to quickly restore order in the affected areas. I and the two behind me will go deeper into the prison to investigate. But, General. The situation inside is still chaotic and perilous. Your presence would be... It's common for Cloud Knight generals to face danger directly. Hule has escaped, and the Yao Qing envoy is being held hostage by the Borison. His fate is unknown. This is a grave matter. Not only did the Merlin's Claw offer no reproach, she decided to go after Hule herself to prevent further calamity. I believe the Law Fu owes her something in return for her Fervent determination. Hmm. How did the infiltrators learn about the location where Hule was held? And how did they time their plan just before the Yao Qing messengers were ready to escort him? Finding the answer to these questions shouldn't be too difficult. What truly matters is if we can gather the clues that lead us to the mastermind behind all of this. I understand, but I'm afraid it won't be an easy task. For a long time, this hidden force has been pursuing their own goals and undermining the security of the Law Fu. Backing down now will only encourage them to further endanger the peace here. The Ten Lords Commission will support your decision with everything we have, General. Dan Hong and Ling Sha, I'll need both of you to accompany me on this challenging journey. Well, it's part of my responsibilities as the Cauldron Master. So, where would you like to start? General. Let's start with those Borison disguised as Foxians. My people have already prepared the evidence. Okay, my players, huh? 
You're not playable yet! Just look at you! Like, oh my goodness, I mean, I know shoes be playable already. I'm the kid. How sure the textiles looks like? <laughs> Just toss your stick and what's your ear build? Incense ascends! Entwined with ethereal clouds. Insist with what? Drugs? Okay, let's let's investigate this body. According to Lieutenant Yenching's report, he stumbled upon a few suspicious Foxians at Stargazer Navalia. After following them, he discovered that they were actually Borison in disguise. This is one of the bodies. <sighs> Looking at him now, it's hard to imagine how he transformed into a Foxian. My alchemist detected some complex ingredients in his remains, which might explain how these Borison were able to disguise themselves as Foxians. Simply put, Foxians and Borison share a common ancestry. Although they look completely different now, there isn't much genetic difference between them. This medicine allows Borison to temporarily change their shape into that of Foxians. So, in other words, if they stop taking the medicine, their true form will soon be revealed? I have to be her. Okay. Boris has fast melatonism, so the effect of medicine doesn't last goddamn long. Indeed. This means that these Borison have a steady supply of the medicine within the Lafu. <sighs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Looks like the Alchemy Commission is involved once again. When I was sorting through the prescriptions they use, I came across one called Semblance Reversion Essence. It's designed to help those disciples suppress signs of their Mara-struck forms and maintain their normal appearance. When I compared it to the medicine found in the Borson's body... They're one and the same, aren't they? The medicinal properties and ingredients may differ, but the principle remains the same. Since ancient times, the Borison have always sought to have more powerful bodies, regarding the Foxians as weaklings. Yet, in order to save their warhead, they were willing to disguise themselves as Foxians. <laughs> Their determination is quite remarkable. If these infiltrators rely on the medicine to maintain their disguise, then following this lead in our investigation seems prudent. Please follow me. Okay. Here we are. So... According to the judge, this area is not yet under control. So we should proceed cautiously. I've captured the nature of the medicine in my sense. By following the medicinal fumes, we should be able to retrace the steps of the disguised Borison. Oh, sorry, I just, I just don't think he knows the sign she's wearing. <laughs> it's okay, so dead bodies. Um, let's check this out. The physical is caught on the ground and her body twisted unnaturally, examining the remains of the warden. <gasps> Incredible strength! The attacker shattered this warden's bones with. A single blow. Such a thigh, like, Such brute strength mm, so is not something an ordinary Borison possesses. Because your own dust touch. This is likely the work of Hulai. If I may be so bold to ask, is this Borison truly that formidable? I have lived a bit longer and engaged in a few more battles than you, Miss Ling Shaw. To the Alliance, Borison have always been the most formidable adversaries. And Hulai is a monster feared even among his own kind. With his strength, Hule united numerous Borison packs, forming a grand army of abominations of abundance. They constantly pushed the Alliance's armies into perilous positions. Over seven centuries ago, I followed my mentor on a campaign against the abominations. And I personally witnessed the devastation on the battlefield after Hule appeared. Even with medicinal pellets that suppress the fear caused by his lupatoxin, countless cloud knights succumbed to panic in the face of his murderous aura. They couldn't even raise a hand in resistance. If the former sword champion hadn't immobilized Hule with her frost blade, the outcome of that fateful battle could have been very different. By the end of the battle, only a few of us remain. The Crimson Moon cast the sheen of blood on all. Everything I saw was painted dark red. If that's the case, why wasn't the beast executed instead of being imprisoned? <sighs> on the Sienjo Juming, 
the judges cast those unforgivable and nearly immortal abominations of abundance into the eternal flames of the stars, reducing them to ashes. Their so-called immortality is just a facade. I mean, nothing can truly defy death, can it? I just don't understand why the Lafu kept this tumor for so long, leading to the terrible situation we're facing now. But I guess I understand. The people of the Lafu are known for their kindness. Even when faced with a malignant tumor within the Alchemy Commission, they couldn't bring themselves to cut it out. Instead, they exiled the healer who tried to solve the problem to the Sienjo Jumi. I understand if you hold grudges against me, Miss Ling Shaw. I take the blame for the resurgence of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. As for why Hule was only in prison, I can shed some light on that too. I'm just a healer. I'm not familiar with the past. I'd appreciate it if you could enlighten me, General. All right. Let me tell you more about it as we go. Okay, let's keep going. Next. Oh my god, there's an enemy. I don't care! No, no, no! I don't want to fight you! Fuck off! Let me! Oh my god, do I have to fight this thing? Okay, fine, fine. Hey I am more into the power of place for this, so swing your ear, Billy buddy. Time to cleanse the filth. Didn't you agree? Ooh. Ooh. Oh Come my god. <laughs> Basic attack? Yeah. Just swing at that, Billy. Now, watch your arms. The truth burns clear as a flame. Let's give it a go. Everything in this world is nearly bleeding. Damn, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's done. <laughs> Thanks, Linux. Okay, no dead body in prison gate. Let's go. Did this Cloud Knight also take the medicine? Lady peers open the Cloud Knight's armor and stretches out her hands to search for the moment. No. This is a Borison in disguise. A guard killed him before he could return to his original form. She even touched his dick? Like, um, th this is not his real dick, it's just a Borison. All these Borison are dressed in official attire. Besides the Cloud Knight, there were also two Borison disguised as members of the Skyframe Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Hmm. Whoever is providing them with official identities must hold the position of power. Let's search elsewhere. Got it. I saw optional along the escape routes. Oh, I do see them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I do see. Okay, but they came up earlier. Okay, we do go ahead down now. Damn, this is a lot of pit down. So I feel I never ever see that one yet. There is that way veil. Uh oh veil. No, not no veil. <laughs> okay, next body. Okay. Prisoner is on the ground. The job will give him an instantly shock. These two expressions are forced on his pale face at the moment of death. Someone bit open his arteries and drained almost all of his blood while he was still alive. <sighs> Such a cruel and ruthless act. Damn. Despite being a long lived species, Borison are actually more like predatory beasts that must feed on raw blood and flesh. I've heard that Hule was deprived of food and water in the Shackling prison. That's true. It's hard to imagine how he managed to suppress his hunger for over seven centuries. Will the hostage from the Yaoqing be able to avoid being his meal? Such is the terrible nature of the abominations of abundance. We subjected him to the Forest of Swords to drain his life force. But in the end, his punishment turned into a test of our patience. Just like you said, Miss Ling Chao. Casting a creature that can't be killed into a star would be a way to permanently get rid of it. But unfortunately... The Foxians didn't agree to that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The atrocities committed by Hule went beyond mere massacres. Throughout numerous wars, we made every effort to eradicate the Borison. But Hule, with his mysterious sorcery, turned countless Foxians into his pawns. And so the Borison kept returning. The Foxians curse his name day and night, and they even use it to scare children into staying quiet. How could they grant a swift death to such a great sinner? I wonder if you know why Hule wasn't taken into custody by the Foxian majority Sienjo Yao Ching. 
but instead, in prison with Messiengo Luofu, Miss Ling Chao. As you mentioned, your mentor was an exceptional warrior and was the one who defeated Tulai, an extraordinary achievement. Therefore, the Marshal placed this feral beast under the jurisdiction of the Sienjo Lafu as an honor, I assume? It seems you have a major misunderstanding about this arrangement, Miss Ling Chao. Allow me to explain it to you. As we press on. Oh, so those were the optional things. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, how do you... What inch heels do you wear from here? They look like about three or four. It looks three and a half. That's what it looks like. Oh, those are sense how she moves on. That's what it looks like. Okay. Focus on this. Okay. Now, we go down. Hurry! Heading down. All the way down, I see some enemies that surround the area. We should be careful. Be careful. Ooh, yeah, there are some enemies. I'm just gonna pass by the majority of the ones that are not moving. Don't hear my heels clicking, right? The whole shade mecha just going into the power of metal. Yen Ching told me that an IPC ship was attacked by Borison. Is this what they were transporting on the ship? A biomedical weapon that will also whistle even after being turned off. Yes, the Artisanship Commission and Alchemy Commission conducted a joint examination well, and found her. that Who's speaking? parts of this machine are made from specially refined borosin bio tissue. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild has been researching the biological properties of long life species, hoping to make medical or combat related discoveries. However, they haven't dared to cross any lines due to their so-called relationship with the Alliance. Perhaps to those scholars, Borison are no different from lab animals. <sighs> Maybe the Borison attacked that ship to retaliate against the Intelligentsia Guild for... experimenting on them? No. If it were only about revenge, they could just wreck the ship and destroy all the cargo. Instead of allowing it to end up in the Shackling Prison, it was a deliberate display to showcase the dangerous nature of the cargo in broad daylight. This way, the cargo would end up in the Shackling Prison, serving as a tool for the prison break. This skill in exploiting the blind spots of others' mindsets is so atypical of them. Hmm. I'm afraid the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild unknowingly became their accomplices. So this is behind the part on the ground. We need to move. Watch out! This thing is still alive! Motherfucker! Guess what's striking? Yep, mm -hmm. so see, even after suffering such severe attacks? Not the boom Their Not imitation the... of long life species has crossed the line. Ouch. Your thoughts. <sighs> oh, Relax. How about we Three dissipate five. the hour oh, of weakness? That breathing sensation. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Time for something savory. Okay, hey, you're too good to me. Blessing <laughs> <laughs> it. If it can still move, it means it wasn't damaged enough. Let's make sure it never moves again. Never. Pull together. Resonate once more. Good times never last. Be fine. Time to Go say down bye. Down. Boom. The truth burns clear as a flame. Everything in this world is merely fleeting. Blow it. That's okay. I don't know to say about that. May as well kill them all. Oh. Oh. Target specimen sighted. Preparing okay. for collection. So, you know, not doing all this. Just making it in a Stand still. How about we dissipate that? Detecting damage. Detecting damage. Detecting damage. Our defense is so high, it can never hurt us. Damage. 
It does that. Please allow me to purge the root of this both body and mind. Must be pure. Do that. Everyone is with me. It ended, okay. Damage. Relax. Second damage. Just claw him off. Hurt. The in. harmony will soon Two. play in unison. I'm gonna wait until the stuff is around. Oh, a weakness. No weakness. Go and sing. Hey, Tonight. Down. Tonight. Now you can sing while bit. Stars echo because of me. <laughs> Now's my chance. <laughs> Gonna be his ass. Stand still. It's like double damage. Time to cleanse the pill. Wouldn't you agree? Swing. <laughs> the truth burns clear as if everything in this world is merely fleeting. Good times. Nice. Does more damage next to time to say bye. That was you both. Hey, double up! You're almost dead! Uh oh! Not the child! No, that's fine. Oh, I think something bit me. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're gonna swing away. How about you? Well, bye bye! Kaka finished the job and ate the cock. You dick shies belongs to too. Never mind. The giant mission goes silent again. Like the wound be strain of blood is can no longer move. You haven't answered my question about why Hu Lei was imprisoned in the La Fu instead of the Yao Qing, General. You've been reserved in your response. Could it be that such an arrangement wasn't an honor? The reason why the Marshal didn't leave Hu Lei on the Yao Qing lies in the very mech in front of us. Are you suggesting that there are people trying to understand Hu Lei's secrets and use them for their own purposes? Just like with this mech? <sighs> well, I understand. I've heard that the Foxians on the Yao Qing share a bloodline with the Borsin. And just like the Borsin, some of the Foxians there experience an uncontrollable insanity called Moon Rage. The Marshal believed that this would be inhumane and no different from what the Borsin did, so... Exactly. While Borisin see Moon Rage as a blessing that unlocks their true potential, Foxians see it as an inevitable curse within their bloodline. Countless healers of the Yao Qing have attempted to unravel this mystery, but to no avail. Why can Borisin control the power of Moon Rage? Can we Foxians break free from this curse? These questions were asked frequently. Each questioner had good intentions. <sighs> but the road to catastrophe is paved with good intentions. To the Foxians of the Yao Qing, Hu Lei was not only the warhead of the Borisin, but also a monster that could be the subject of much research. Hu Lei thus became a poison that corrupted people's minds without their knowing. That's why the Marshal decided to imprison Hu Lei and the La Fu. It wasn't an honor, but rather a warning. Because such selfish pursuits in the name of good intentions once led to a tragedy on the La Fu that served as a warning to future generations. <sighs> the sedition of Imbibitor Lune. <laughs> By imprisoning Hu Lei and the Xianzhou La Fu, the Marshal both suppressed the dangerous intentions of the Yao Qing Foxians and warned the Xianzhou La Fu to refrain from repeating its mistake. That was a necessary trade-off. The Xianzhou Alliance is not solely about the Xianzhou natives. Only when all three races, Foxian, Vidyadora, and Xianzhou natives, form an alliance, will there be a promising future for all. Thank you for enlightening me. Was it for the same reason that you traded off my mentor to the Xianzhou Zhu Ming, only to stand idle and allow the resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? You said that I couldn't bear to cut out the malignant tumor within the Alchemy Commission, but instead exiled the healer 
who tried to solve the problem to the Xianzhou Jumei. But did your mentor tell you her good intentions led her to perform certain healing arts on Don Hong, who had just finished his hatching rebirth, <laughs> so that he would regain the memories of his past life? What, what did you, did you just, just say? She believed that restoring the High Elder's knowledge of his past life would allow the Vidyadara to resume their duty as the guardians of the Ambrosial Arbor, quelling the strife within their clan and bringing everything back on the right path. But just as I mentioned earlier, the road to catastrophe is always paved with good intentions. Since then, the Six Charioteers decided that the Alchemy Commission would no longer have a Cauldron Master. Until your arrival now. Uh, if that's the case, I should thank you for protecting my mentor by exiling her, General. Quite the contrary. I should be the one thanking you. Thanking me? All I ever want is to have a clear conscience. However, can long life species truly achieve that goal in their long drawn lives? For example, you were implicated along with your mentor and forced to leave your homeland without knowing the truth. And now, with the complicated situation in the Alchemy Commission, the Alliance has spared me a lot of trouble by sending you to handle this challenging task. Shouldn't I be thanking you instead? <sighs> your eloquence is indeed impressive, the Divine Foresight. You won't even leave me any excuses to hold a grudge against you, but... Let me make it clear. The Alliance sent me here to handle the business impartially, not to choose sides. It doesn't matter which side you choose, Miss Lingshaw. At the end of the day, both you and I stand on the side of the Alliance, don't we? Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Now I ain't downstairs, you don't see me. How did I hear my heels clicking? <laughs> you hear my heels clicking so loudly. <laughs> the heels that dirty, they can't hear shit. <laughs> yeah, too bad, they can't hear anything at all. I don't want to fight them. Nah. -uh. Unless I have to, then oh my god, I don't want to. So at the same time, there's something in the corner. What is above? Okay, now we're here. Oh boy, look at those dead bodies. A mess of bodies. A fuse battle must have been fought here. It's only the Mara struck remains. These Mara struck soldiers don't appear to be escaped prisoners. How can you tell? These soldiers are fully armed. Obviously, they didn't hastily join the battle. The messenger named Morza did say that there were two groups of attackers. And the other attackers, aside from the Borison, could hide their tracks. <laughs> I believe he was referring to these people. Hide their tracks? Exactly. I've engaged with these attackers before, and they used Cloud Hymn magic to hide their presence. Without careful observation, no one can detect them. You once warned me to be cautious of the Vidyadara Elder's influence within the Alchemy Commission. Could it be? What's on your mind, Miss Lingshaw? Well, it seems that someone provided the attackers with a map of the Shackling Prison. And considering the Vidyadara's involvement in the prison's construction, it raises suspicion about their role in this. Additionally, the fact that the Boris and need medicine to disguise themselves would suggest that there are still moles within the Alchemy Commission assisting them covertly. Moreover, forging official identities for the undercover Boris and would require someone with significant authority. And the presence of assassins capable of using Cloud Hymn magic deepens my suspicion about the preceptors. But why would the Vidyadar collude with the Boris and an Aiden who plays escape? They aim to spread chaos. They believe that only in chaos can they regain their former power and influence. Since this edition of Imbiber de Lune, the once proud dragon race has been powerless, watching their influence wane. Being a native of the Lo Fu, Miss Lingsha, I believe you understand the implications. However, I don't think the preceptors are the true masterminds. If I'm not mistaken, the one behind all this treachery is the Lord Ravager who exploited the weaknesses within the Law Fu and instigated the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, 
ultimately leading to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Fentilia. Please remember, General, that everything I've mentioned is mere speculation. We need concrete evidence for a public trial. If you want to interrogate someone within the Vidyadara's ranks, you'll need How irrefutable you proof. Right, so, what's your plan, Miss Lingshaw? I'll send an invitation to the Preceptors. An invitation? The Preceptors have been inviting me for a personal meeting since my arrival on the North Room. Now, I'll send them the remains of these Mara-struck soldiers and the route map I found in the prisoner's possession. Then, I'll ask them to meet me at Scale Gorge Waterscape. I'd like to hear their explanations. Good idea. If I were to take action, it might alert the true mastermind. I trust you to handle this matter, Miss Lingshaw. The internal affairs of the Vidyadara should remain under their jurisdiction. And don't worry if things don't go smoothly. Once the wolf hunt operation is over, the hidden truths will come to light. <sighs> Speaking of the wolf hunt operation, I'm truly worried about the Yaoqing messenger who was taken hostage. Hule was starving in the Shackling prison for centuries. I don't know if the messenger can survive in that wolf's clutches. May Rainbow's blessing keep him safe. Oh man. Two dual hours before the war is covered in excelling scotum. As I said, well, how do you see it? I'm a healer. But my art of healing requires the culinary arts to be truly effective. Oh, he's in jail. The magic I mean, of my cauldron is its ability to make all kinds of medicines into dishes that patients can eat. When simmered and cooked together, any kind of medicinal herb or ingredient becomes a delightful delicacy. Delicacy. But isn't that just one flavor overpowering the others? Well, you have a point. Let me ask you this. If there's a fussy child who refuses to eat green peppers, what's the best way to make him eat them? Stuff the kid's mouth with the green peppers and cook him alive in a pot. Hell no. <laughs> you have quite the sense of humor. I've heard that you, Borison, have lost many of your taste buds during the self-modification process, so you can't experience complex flavors. Only the saltiness of blood and flesh truly awakens your appetite. It's a shame I don't have any green peppers right now. Otherwise, I'd happily stuff them into your mouth and cook you alive in a pot. I just but he sounds like Inosuke for some reason. Unless that's the girl's voicing him. I'm just kidding. The answer is quite simple. Chop up the peppers Obviously. and mix them with minced meat to make meatballs. Yes. This way, the flavor of the meat overpowers the taste of the peppers. And even a fussy child can enjoy them. Can I just boil your tongue in this hot pot? I know you're trying to buy time until someone comes to your rescue. You said that Jin Liu recently returned to the La Fu, right? Well, she did come back. But, unfortunately, I also found out that she committed serious crimes and was escorted to another Sienjo ship. Do you really think you can delay our departure by provoking Lord Hule's desire for revenge with your clever little tongue? You see Borison as savages who know nothing about the Sienjo. But in fact, we know all about your tracking tricks. Like the jade abacus you're carrying, and the side cranes in the sky. <sighs> the more hope you hold in your heart, the greater your pain will be when death comes. I wonder if you can maintain your composure when I tear your throat open. <sighs> His composure is only a temporary effect of the medicine. And it will wear off soon, right? Is that who I think it is? Lord Hule! Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you pathetic Foxians. For thousands of years, we were the ones who allowed you to live, and who granted you civilization. But in the end, you chose to betray us. With the freedom promised by the Xianzhou people. <laughs> but it's alright. 
As long as you catch the scent of your masters, you obediently return to us. No matter how far you run away. Hmm. All right. Shall the score between Mokhtar and Huli? Huli. Have you ever wondered why it took them seven centuries to come to your rescue? <laughs> the Borisans' era has long passed. Did they ever tell you these harsh facts before giving you hope for returning home? Lord Hule, now they're being crushed by the Merlin's claw of the Yao Qing, by a Foxian. They're hiding in remote corners of the cosmos, trembling with fear like a wounded beast on its last legs, reaching out desperately for any fake hope of salvation, which in this case is you. The Merlin's claw of the Yao Qing, a Foxian? <laughs> Very interesting. Tell me, Mock Talk. Is he speaking the truth? He isn't lying. That lowly beast was a war slave who ran away from our pack. Cannon fodder, a thief! She stole our power and used her knowledge about us to fight us, using every dirty trick in the book! And she bested you, Mock Talk. Fairness is but a pathetic excuse for the dead and defeated. Hmm. Since our great pack has fallen apart, who told you that I was alive? And who sent you here? In our darkest hours, it was a prophet of the Master of Immortality, named Mangus, who showed us the way. Her guidance brought us hope. This prophet, Mongus, what does she want? The prophet made this proclamation. The Borison have been divided for too long, and only your return can unite all the packs, restoring us to our former glory. That's when we learned that you were still alive. It must have been a manifestation of the Master of Immortality! And the Prophet told us that the Foxy in general of the Yao Qing would take you to her ship during the Lafu's war dance! And that it would be our best chance to infiltrate and free you from your prison! And just as she said, we did it! Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's not say the top one yet. Saw the score by Poya Manga's untold motives. That so called prophet lied to all of you. She just sent you here to die. But her prophecy has come true. Our warhead is right here, with us! Once the news about the prison break spreads, the Cloud Knights will close all the ports. You may think you've escaped the prison, but you're just trapped in another cage known as the Law Fu. Let me kill this unruly, lowly beast, Lord Hule! I assure you that our star skiffs will soon arrive. Right now, everyone in the Law Fu is distracted by the stupid war dance. So this will be the perfect chance to escape. Once you've returned to your territory, your revenge against the Sienjo ships will be within reach. Perfect chance to return to my weak and shattered pack at the mercy of a ridiculous false prophet and become a mere puppet in her clutches. <laughs> her plan is full of flaws. The only paths she has prepared for you are escape and death. Listen up. A wolf never allows itself to become prey. From now on, You'll follow my orders. <laughs> Since you are so confident that the Cloud Knights will close the ports, Jiao Cho, I'm now giving you a chance to go and see it for yourself. Go to the ports, come back, and tell me what you saw. Wait, what did you just say? But my lord! Would an Alpha Wolf ever listen to a cub? Mock talk. Bless me, little shit. No, I've never heard anything like that. I... I wasn't trying to defy your will. I 
will always unquestioningly follow your orders. Hmm. What? Why don't you send your people? I'm offering you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don't you want to run away, Jiao Cho? <laughs> you will come back. Because Foxians like you always obediently return to their masters. No matter how far they run away. I mean, it's not like they all do that now, them. Nah. So now I'm playing as him. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Don't hide in my field. That is the most obvious spot for them to find. But they're dumb as hell. Guess they are. <sighs> I can't, I can't believe, believe he actually let me go. What game is he playing? Perhaps I can try to warn the Cloud Knights. No. Perhaps I can just escape. Hmm. Look around. If I wasn't for the coast person gate at Jashing, so the sharp person at the gates came up with warning if you say every clear little turn down your bell might lead to the civil council will come to regret. Just as I suspected. He's testing me. Toys to the Cloud Knights must have been aware of the situation inside the Shackling prison for some time. Will General Fei Xiao personally lead a squad to capture Hule? For now, I'll do as he asked. Yeah, play along, dude. You got like some time to do. So, options, just for help and send news to the outside. Helping outside? Uh, so I can go up there. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go sneakily. He's not gonna know. I'm just gonna. He's not gonna know. Hey, need help? This guy applies doesn't always, but hardly for the whole field. Feel the place day. day. Understand if you thought accident A, you will web several because of cause if the outcome says it's unfair. Remember, be mindful it was an action. Would you like to board my star skiff? You need knows that the fox and the president near the sky to plot are looking you up and down. Uh, how many pressures can you accommodate? Well, my little star skiff can't accommodate that many. But I have a larger one that will arrive in less than 15 minutes if you need it. So, where would you like to go? We need to hurry wherever we're going. The war dance is about to start, and the Skyfaring Commission is prioritizing star skiffs heading to the Sky Splitter. Hmm. I guess it's a red one. Um. Have the Cloud Knights close the ports? Close the ports? <laughs> Why would they do that? Um, wait, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me just Would go you back. like to board my... Okay, okay, I'm skipping. Well, Top one. my lip... We need to hurry. I wherever. don't care. Um, uh, I want to go outside the J gate. Can you take me there? What? Are you joking? How can I take you beyond the Jade gate in this tiny star skiff? Can I go? I guess I got it the red woods. Okay, okay, okay. Would you like to board my? Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Well, my I need to hurry. Need wherever. To say, keep this quiet. Keep what quiet? <laughs> Come on, spill it if you have something to say. Um, uh, could you do a message to the Realm Keeping Commission for me? The Realm Keeping Commission? It's right up ahead. Uh, look, I've got a business to run, so why don't you go there yourself? Okay, that was a bust. You couldn't do anything. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna head uh, that way next. <gasps> Wait, is Baiju here? Baiju! Are you here, buddy? Wait, is that an orphan over there? Hold up a sec. Never mind, it's an old NPC. Wait a minute, is she playing here already? Someone is keeping an eye on me. Never mind, I'm going! Oh, uh, no, bye, Lou. Okay, fine, talk to you next. The welcome question only is not according to handle the would like the one. Understand if your daughter's at accent for a you will whip your server with the goddess if the outcome is success of it. Remember, be one of your world in action. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is currently closed. All the officers and officials have been reassigned to assist in the war dance. You can sense someone staying at your phone not far away. I need your help. If I can help you. <laughs> um, I'm Xiao Chu, every of the Xianxiu Yaqing. <laughs> Hi, do you need my help, messenger from the Xianzhou Yaqing? Borison are hiding in the Exalting Sanctum. You must deliver this news to the Cloud Knights. Uh, Borison? Here? Are you serious? These Borison are disguised as Foxians. 
Please warn the Cloud Knights immediately. Will you please wait here for a while? I'll find a soldier. Ooh, we got someone help. Ooh. Boy, so you're fucked! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> They're not gonna know what's going on. Okay, now we're up this way and... Is that a soldier? This is not knowing no, but you're filled with anxiety. With like... Oh shit, um, um, um... Excuse me, soldier. I need a... The clouds are under here alone, but I'll send you without the here for aid. You will request several because of the without consensus of it. Remember, be all of your words and action. Hey Wait, there. That's a I woman. I noticed you'd been looking at me for quite a while. Do you need my help? That's a woman. You can sense someone staring at you from not far away. I need your help. Could you please provide more details? I'm Chang Shashu. I'm very of the Chang Shu Yao Qing. Wait. I recognize you. You're the lost Yaoqing messenger. How are you here? I was brought here by the Borison. Please make sure to report this news. All right. I'll call for reinforcements. If I didn't do optional, ooh, I like the optional, you know what? It shows more details. But there she is! Go! You're busy playing games! Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm funny! I can cook food and I can see what I'm looking at. Anyways, um, now I'm gonna go talk to Suspicion Fame. What? Stop asking. I'm off duty now. Go bother someone else. You said I'm gonna sit on the fox and quit. What if the warden wants to leave? <sighs> You're not one of us, but I smell a familiar scent on you. The warhead sent me here to check on the situation. Hmm. The warden. Have the Cloud Knights close the points? No, not at all. Instead, the Skyfaring Commission is clearing routes to prioritize star skiffs heading to the Sky Splitter. This will make our ships more noticeable when we try to escape. Oh, the ports boy. haven't been closed? What is going on? Uh, help, help, Stalling won't help. Help me! Please it's time to confront don't stab me! And see what Trixie's up to. Don't, don't just, don't just stab me! Help me! You're just playing these games with these weirdos. Well, I'm a weirdo too, but still, play more blocks with them later. Hey, hey, I'm back, Hule. You're back, Jiao Cho. Don't come and take a good look. Who are these people? This Cloud Knight says there's official business that requires my cooperation. What are you trying to do, Mok Tok? What are you trying to do, Mok Tok? They have nothing to do with this! Nothing to do? I told you to go to the port and check out the situation. But I never gave you permission to talk with others. Remember, these people died because of you. If Stan cracked the bones above through the small courtyard, there was no scream but the sound of a struggle. What? Did he just... Did he just do that to them? You want to prove to me that you hold everyone's lives in your hands, right, Hule? <laughs> oh, exactly as you said. So, have the Cloud Knights closed the ports? <laughs> no. Hmm. They don't we lied, want to we lied. Size my escape. I understand. It's no surprise, for fear is more deadly than claws and fangs. Especially during a festive time like the war dance. What lurks here is not a group of fugitives, but rather a pack of wolves amidst the flock. My cubs are hungry, ready to feast on flesh and blood, reveling in your fear. Your calm facade will soon crumble. I can tear through it and expose your pathetic bones any time. There's no escape from me, Jiao Cho. Of course, you can try your luck and believe that your wits will save you. But remember, you're not the only hostage in this city. If you try anything funny, innocent people will die. Because of you. Now, let's talk about the Foxy in general you serve. Mok Tok says she's here for me. 
which means she'll be hunting me herself. Before the hunt begins, I need to know my opponent. You can refuse and play tough, or you can cooperate and save us both some time, healer. Show weakness and make him believe you're surrendered. The time when I scratched out the finger and touched your soldier blade with a movement so fast it's not visible. If as a doctor was cut away a piece of flesh and the pain increased down the bone, you can barely stand. Ah. Good. At least you didn't try to draw attention with a scream. That way no one will die in vain. Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know about her. But I expect something in return. <laughs> what makes you think you're still in a position to negotiate with me? I want chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I never got one. You can torture me until I talk. Or... Let's save us both some time. Warhead. Here's the question that's been bothering me. How have you managed to survive and endure centuries of torture? Boris and aren't supposed to live that long or possess such regenerative abilities. So, is that why the Shen Zhao Yao Qing wanted to take me away? <laughs> To some, I'm a hostage, but to others, I hold the secrets they desire. Oh boy. Oh, I still remember. In the early years of my captivity, the Foxians came and went. They extracted my blood and marrow, trying to unravel the mystery of Moon Rage. They wanted to conquer their fear of the Burison and free themselves from their bloodline. Unfortunately, they failed to uncover the secret. So, they resorted to the most brutal punishments they could imagine. <laughs> Some seek power to destroy their enemies, while others seek power to become their enemies. Which one are you, Chao Cho? Ah. I see. You're the most pitiful of them all, healer of the Yao Qing. You seek power to share it with others and do good. Well, then let me tell you the answer you seek. In our ancient legends, Duran, the ancestor of the Borison, was dissatisfied with his limited lifespan and power. He yearned to dominate the skies and become the master of all the stars. To achieve his goal, he sacrificed the lives of countless Borison and Foxians, pouring them into the spring bestowed by the Master of Immortality. Through a form of genetic sorcery, the water gave birth to a miracle. The lunar embryo, Duran, ascended the birthing bed and obtained what he desired. A heart in the shape of a deep red full moon. He cut open his chest and replaced his original heart with this crimson moon. Hmm. How typical. Just another poison myth. Laugh all you want. But only I know the truth behind every word. Mm. This moon heart beats within the body of every generation of the Borisim Warhead. In the ritual that decides the new Warhead, the successor cuts open the previous Warhead's chest and consumes the Divine Heart, thus possessing it as their own. Mm. Devouring is the true essence of life, allowing us to endure and thrive. 
it gathers the life essence of all the prey we consume, making us stronger and stronger. I thought all hope was lost after seven centuries of torment. But now, this heart is beating once again. <laughs> all right. Now it's your turn to tell me everything about the Merlin's Claw. Zhao Cho, I found you. Quiet, right, dude. Don't make any sudden movements. Two door hours before the Warden's Convince, during the Navalia. I know I'm in no position to question your orders, but if I understand correctly, you already have intelligence about the Borison? That's right. My people are busy collecting clues now. What's the situation, Mwadza? General, before we completely lost contact with Zhao Cho, I picked up a signal from his Jade Abacus. It won't take long before we locate their whereabouts. If that's the case, shouldn't we immediately go there and join forces to eliminate the Borison? Why are we returning to Stargazer Nivalia? Looks like your general has only taught you swordplay, not the art of the hunt. No. There's an old saying among the Borison. In the forest, the hunter may easily become the hunted. While we may call ourselves the hunters now, chasing them blindly will only make us become the prey. Hmm. Uh, but we have the adventures in numbers, right? Are you joking, General? He's just a wolf who's been in prison for seven centuries. Even with his accomplices, they're no match for us numerous lawful cloud knights. How could he consider us his prey? Do not underestimate the enemy. Hule is not an ordinary Borison that can be easily killed. The advantage in numbers means nothing when we face that monster, a vicious beast who hasn't tasted blood and flesh in seven centuries, is now lurking on the streets of the Lafu right before the war dance. This is what makes the situation treacherous and unpredictable. <sighs> to him, the lives of ordinary people are just meat ready to be devoured at any moment. Exactly. That is why we must succeed in our first strike, or the situation will spiral out of control. You've heard of this military tactic, right? When you surround your enemy, leave one side open for them to escape. A skilled hunter must be well prepared, waiting for the prey at the most advantageous position. Hmm. Um, is Thaigui's Navalia the most likely place for them to go, come to? What would we do if we were the escapees from the Shackling Prison? While we can disguise ourselves and blend in with the crowd, we don't plan on staying here for long. In this case, what do we need most now? A star skiff to get us out of the Lafu. The Borison we discovered at Stargazer Navalia were actually preparing a vessel for their escape. We predict their next move, and we take them down. Let's start from where you found those Borison and corner our prey. Got it. But I'm actually gonna stop it there. Alright, I'm gonna there. Like subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.